this pitiful or what? If you was watching America's Top Model, that dress would be cute. It was inappropriate. Tell the kid to cover up and avoid an argument. Tell the kid to cover up. Cover your shit up. But instead, people use this opportunity to say hard things. She looks like a whore. And all that. I'm trying to say something positive. The child thought she looked cute. She was even smiling on her little picture. She was happy. That's all you expect of any child. It's a child. Yeah, she was dressed inappropriate. You're at the front door. Don't tell her what she can't do. Tell her what she need to do to get in. Even saying you have to go home and change that dress. But instead, another adult figure wants to argue with a child. You can't tell a girl, you know what, you're not dressed right. Go change that. Put something, your stuff is hanging out. Change that. Instead, all people see is an old man saying, you know, the girl look cute. She looked cute because she was happy. She looked cute because her face says, I'm happy. I have a wife. I'm a grown ass man. But like I said, you can go pick up these magazines and look at these girls in these magazines, Vanity Fair and all that. If a girl was on American Idol, she had the crisscross the thing on or whatever. A little black girl do something like this. She's ghetto. She's hood. She look like a tramp. Look like she should be sliding down a pole. It's truly sad when nobody can say anything encouraging in this situation. Compromise. Fix it so the child understands. You know what? You're not dressed right, sweetheart. You need to go cover this up, and I'll let you in. Go put on a sweater, and I'll let you in. But if you take it off, they're going to ask you to leave. But instead, you got a grown person, a grown-up, arguing with a child. Then you got me comment on it, and now I'm some pervert, probably a rapist. Pedophile. Words destroy people. So, for you folks out there to say this girl looks like a whore and a tramp and da 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 da, fine. She may have. But it ain't your place to tell her that. It's your place to tell her, young lady, cover yourself up. Have some self respect. But no. She's not worth that. I said that in the video. Cover up. I'd never let my daughter out the house like that. But I've seen people. I've seen people dressed up just like that and their daughter dressed up exactly the same standing next to them. With the father covering his face in shame. I've seen it. I don't condone that dress. All I'm saying is... This young lady thought she was cute and she was feeling good about life. Fine. Give these kids those moments. Because they don't get those moments often. Reality is based in deep roots. Reality is deep-rooted pain. She might remember this. She might read some of the comments and become a whore. Because everybody's saying she's a whore. Did I say she was a whore? You did. You called her, her a whore. You called me a pedophile. I'm not registered nowhere. I ain't did nothing to nobody. But that gives people the right to say something because I made an opinion. Because I said, 
This person should be deserved to feel good about themselves. We destroy people so much that when one person tries to say something, that person needs to be destroyed too. Let me tell you, you cannot destroy me. You can make all the accusations in the world. I'm not going to stand by everything I said. Yeah, she looked cute. Yeah, the dress was cute. Because any other place you'd say that. In some magazine or walking down a catwalk, you would say that. Oh, that's cute. I'm going to buy one of those. In a magazine. Remember when Britney Spears, Spears first came out? Remember Brooke Shields when she did that movie? She's a little girl and did that movie in the whorehouse. Images. I read on one of the comments down there. Look at where this young lady gets her images from. She thought she was one of fucking Destiny's Childs. She thought she was at the Oscars. She thought she was cute. She thought she was pretty. And for that, she deserves to be called a whore. She should be on stripper poles. For that, for trying to look good. And then I just read down there that um, she got into it with her mother before the prom. And she altered the dress. So that comment I read about the mother probably learning how to dress her daughter from dancing on stripper poles, maybe that comment was a bad statement. See, and you people out there are screaming, you're a parent, you're a parent, you're a parent, you're a parent. Your daughter probably changed her dress on the way there, too. But, some old guy says some girl trying to look cute, she deserves the right to try to look cute. He's a pedophile. What about these photographers at these agencies? What about these agencies that ask 15 and 16 year old girls to learn to be miles to walk down the catwalk? What about all these images that you see in these magazines? I keep on saying the same stuff over and over so you can see from another perspective. So when somebody sees a dress, yeah, that dress looks fine to me. Is it appropriate from the prom? Never said it was. Said cover up. Hide your shit. I always talk about how young people, especially people of color, need to show self-respect, and she didn't. But I'm not going to say that. Oh, she looks like this. She didn't do this. She didn't. That's not my place. My place is to prop that person up. I'm trying to make her feel better about herself. I'm not worried about what you think. Or what somebody else think. When I was talking, I was talking for the child's benefit. Make her feel better about herself. Cover up. You look cute. You look happy. Cover up. You're not a woman. You're a child. Did you look like you was going to a nightclub? Yeah, you did. Could you have covered that up and, and looked decent? Yeah, I think you could have. But it was in poor taste to wear that dress. But that is not my place to say that. You thought you looked good at it, then that's fine. Good for you. Don't let nobody else discourage you. You know, for all these people out there who say this and that and this and that, you think about tomorrow when you do something. You think about what you've done in the past. And yeah. I drank two beers and saw what you were saying about me, and I turned the music on. And these will be my last videos, because it's not worth my time to get negativity spout at me for trying to make one child feel positive about a bad situation. You put the girl on TV and put the girl worldwide for people to call whores, tramps, $50 hookers. You did that. I didn't. In America, once again, you've been tuned. This is the final video from The Real AIX. So fuck you 